Monorail system engaged. How's it going, everybody? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. So if you can hear those two balloons having sex to the right of us, that's actually our creation here. I did, in fact, fix the suspension. If you remember, the suspension was actually kind of broken. But kind of bad news, it actually lagged the hell out of my world. As you can see, we're at about 16 FPS right now. So I either have to fix my creation or deal with a laggy-ass game. So to fix that, we're actually going to break it again, only because I don't want you guys to deal with a low FPS video, as well as me to deal with that fucking noise this whole time. As you can see, once it's on the lift, we're back to being totally normal. It's great, there's no lag at all, but I actually gotta break this again to fix it. Okay, so what I did right now is actually revert it back to only having one block in between the suspensions. That's going to glitch it out and hopefully not lag my game so much. Actually, it is much better now, but it's still lagging it quite a bit. I actually think, is it actually working now? It looks like it is actually working now. My game, I think this is doable. It's at about 48 FPS right now, which isn't too bad. Let me actually try and drive this around and see how it is. The only downside being this freaking annoying sound. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get up here, am I? I'm gonna have to build some sort of stairs that can come out or something. For right now, you know what? Let's just actually build stairs here, why don't we? I basically have turned this thing into a monster truck lift. All right, let's actually try and drive this thing around. Oh yeah, I forgot. I <laughs> I didn't add the wheels to the engines yet. That, that, that That's kind of an important part. Okay, that's looking all good now. We're actually still going backwards. I kind of like it now. I, I, I like the fact that you sit backwards in this to drive it forwards. But yes, as you can see, this thing is working just fine here. Let's actually zoom out so we can see it go over these bumps. Like, I'm loving this suspension. Again, it's broken once again, but at least we're getting better FPS now. So in terms of what we're going to be doing today, I'm hopefully going to be setting this thing up to be used as a monorail system as well. That is, you can put a pole horizontally across it and we can ride on that as well. Currently we can only go vertical up and down, but I want to go left and right as well. Make this thing, as someone said in the comments, just like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory elevator that goes pretty much anywhere in his facility. And that's actually going to be a lot harder than it seems. We got to figure out a way to actually connect this thing to a pole without obviously putting too much in the way because I got to drive right through it to get onto it. Uh, the way we dealt with that with the actual vertical pole is we just allowed this thing to open up so we can drive right in. That's going to be a little bit harder this time because I got to essentially split this thing in half. Now, I do actually have an idea on how to do that. I just can't really explain it because it's just really confusing. So, for right now, though, I just want to actually add wheels to the roof. A lot of you guys are requesting that I do that. And I agree, right now is probably the best time to do that. Now, I'm hoping this is going to be as easy as just putting some wheels right here. And it's just going to grab the pole. Again, this isn't going to be tightened to the pole. This is just to keep the pole stabilized. But I don't actually know how big the pole is, so I'm just going based on uh, a guesstimate here. This does look pretty good. I think this will actually work, but uh, only time will find out. So let's just give a bearing to each wheel here. Put these wheels on really quickly. I don't think this is going to work. I'm just hoping it is because this would be the easiest way to do this. I might have to do some sort of hydraulic thing, though. That does look pretty good, though. I think that's actually perfect. Okay, and when I took this thing off its lift, this leg is actually back. So actually breaking the suspension once again, it seems to actually have fixed it. So maybe, just maybe, you know what? I'm going to try this again here. I'm trying to actually break the suspension so the leg can actually go away. The joys of early access games, my friends, where certain physics just totally break these games. So I'm actually going to drop down to having only one block down here as well, uh, just like the one up here. And I think that should hopefully fix this. Uh, it, the suspension's not gonna be as good, but at least we won't have the leg we have to deal with. Okay, let's see what happens here. Is the leg... Oh, 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 the leg isn't as bad now. It's still laggy, though. Like, this whole suspension setup is just totally fucked. But as you can see, this is how it looked before. It is totally broken. All right, my suspension system, we're just gonna have to work on that later. Right now, I just don't want to deal with it, to be honest. Okay, regardless, the vehicle is still actually movable, but you can see it's having some ground clearance issues right now. I should just get rid of a lot of this. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it right now because it's bothering me. I got to fix this damn suspension. I'm going to get rid of the, the these ones on the sides because they're actually not even attached to the wheels. But the more I get rid of it, the more it weighs itself down, as you can see. Okay, so what I'm doing to fix this, or at least hopefully fix it, uh, to the point where it doesn't at least squeak or lag my game, is I'm going to put 
two blocks between these suspensions. For whatever reason, this game doesn't acknowledge that these three blocks are tied together unless you put another row of blocks below that. So that's why the suspension bugs out, but sometimes when you do this to fix it, it actually lags out the game. So we're gonna see how this works here. These bottom suspensions are basically going to be bottomed out, that's just how it works, but hopefully these top suspensions will be used as actual suspension. I hope that made some sort of sense at all, but uh, let's see how it works here. I'm just curious. Please tell me the lag goes away at least. I don't care if the suspension sucks right now. I can fix that later, but please lag. Oh. Oh, it's so good, and it actually seems to be working just fine. So, I think I fixed my suspension issue, but just as I assumed, all these bottom ones are bottomed out, but these can be still utilized as suspension. That feels really good that it actually worked out, and it's not squeaking anymore, and we're not getting the leg issues that we had earlier on. Okay, let's attach these to the engines for the 15th time, and actually get on to bu building, hopefully, a monorail. Okay, connections look all good. Let's get into the driver's seat here. Oh yeah, it's still working just fine with the suspension. We don't have as much ground clearance, but that's totally fine. Now, I'm just going back to my vertical pole here just to test these top wheels out to see if they're working as planned. I'm just hoping it doesn't screw it up or something. This is actually really hard to aim up, especially when I'm on this little freaking hill here. All right, just get inside. There we go, and bam. That actually looks freaking perfect. So we're gonna close this up and tighten it on and we should be good to go there we go as you can see works great as an elevator and those top wheels they're not connected to any power or anything it's just to keep it a little bit more stabilized and that's exactly what it's doing so so far so good okay so now we can actually work on the monorail system now my idea is to actually make a vertical pole that actually goes horizontal via a, a hydraulic system and connect to that pole and then go essentially sideways up. If that was a little confusing for you, I understand it's confusing for me as well on how to do this right. But uh, I'm gonna try and build it here and we'll see what happens. So first of all, I want a decently sized beam that's going vertically up. That should be good just like that. We don't need much of a beam. Now the hard part's going to be, I actually gotta go up there to build it, but I also got to disattach this from the ground because this is going to be going upwards. Okay, and actually this pole's probably too big for what I need it for anyway, so we're going to delete part of this and I wanna attach, oh, how, how do I rotate these side? Oh, there we go, just like that. It's been a while since I played, guys. Okay, now this is actually going to be basically the support pole. I need this exactly as tall as the other one and I should have probably did this on flat ground. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. That should be good just like that, I think. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shit. Did I miss one? I th Yeah, I think I just missed one. Okay, you know what? We're going to scrap this idea because, as you can see, it is a bit sideways here. I can't have it like that, and I don't think it's going to work anyways. I'm still going to work on this idea, but I got to do it on flat ground, I think. Two hours later. Okay, and for the time being, until I figure out an easier way to reach this button, we're gonna put a controller and button right beside this thing. Now I can connect that to the bearing, and there we go. Sponsored by Viagra, my friends, and attach the controller to that bearing, just like that. And then we want this to rotate 90 degrees. I don't know which way. Let's just try this way right now, see what happens when I hit that button. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. And I'm immediately realizing I think this thing is going to need to be higher off the ground, but for right now, oh, it doesn't even, oh, that's not good. If I put it on an actual bearing, it just, I have to get it in here perfectly first try, essentially. Because for whatever reason, the power of this thing can actually move that bearing. But there we go, we're actually inside, so let's close this thing up and attach it to the pole and then go up to the top of this. Now, hopefully, can I see this button from the inside? Because I don't know how the hell else, ah, oh, fuck. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put a little peephole for right now. Again, there's gonna be a lot of changes to this. I don't even know if this is a good method, but I do want to try, where the fuck is it? Okay, I see it. I just gotta, I just gotta hit it. There, did I hit it? Oh shit, is it too fucking heavy? It's too heavy, isn't it? It's trying to move it and I think it's too heavy. So I hope you guys at least understand what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to utilize my actual vertical uh, contraption here to use it horizontally as well. Uh, basically, I wanna pull this pole up, which is going to pull the whole thing sideways, and then I can just drive on that pole. Uh, as you can see, it is kind of working. I think I just gotta put it a little higher up, so we're gonna try that really quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ, get it off there! <laughs> there we go. 
go. And I don't know. I thought I thought bearings were a little bit more stronger than that. So I'm worried that the bearings are not going to have the strength to hold this thing up. Because this is a pretty big creation. Okay, so same idea as before. It's just double the height. And that makes it a nightmare to actually build. Because the problem is you spend more time building platforms for you to build on than you do actually building the creations you do. So I'm just going to bring this pole all the way down to as close to the ground as possible. That looks good, something like that. Actually, maybe we should just get rid of that bottom one so it can hang a little easier. And then I think actually we can put the controller right on the bottom of this and putting a button on the side shouldn't have too much of an issue. My uh, wheel should be able to fly right over that. Then I can actually do it inside as well. So that's way easier. Let's actually move that button up to probably where it's going to be inside my actual craft so somewhere around there should be good okay but connect the controller to the bearing if it can't i can't reach it can it oh my god so i gotta somehow build a plant you know what let's just try hopefully this is enough room to do it so controller at the bottom i gotta grab that first and then hopefully i can attach this to the bearing and we should be good to go there we go that's more like it Actually, one problem with this design would be that if I hit this button and the thing goes up, I'm not going to be able to actually hit the button for it to come down. So for right now, just to see if this thing works, I'm going to put it over here and then we'll figure out some other way to do it. But yes, connect the button to the controller. There we go. Make the controller go 90 degrees. I believe it was this way. And let's just make sure everything is working here. Probably should be totally fine. Oh, shit, wrong way. Okay, well, at least we learned. Okay, 90 degrees the other way. Let's see. Oh, oh, it, oh my god. What did they do to the bearings? Seriously, does this not have enough power now to keep this thing up? Well, I think this design is totally scrapped due to the lacking of the strength of the bearings. So trying to figure out a way to get on the actual monorail is going to be bigger than I expected. Regardless, let's just try it just out of curiosity. Uh, I just want to see how well it is at pulling this thing up. But yes, this was my initial plan. I have another plan, though, that might actually work. Yeah, you can see I turned it on, and it's just pulling it sideways, unfortunately. It's actually slowly falling down the thing as well. A moment of silence for the stupid design that I thought would be a good idea. Okay, so my next idea is to actually allow the beam to just go directly under my creation because it has such a high ground clearance anyways, that shouldn't be much of an issue. And then put wheels all the way down on each side, and I gotta do some sort of wheels on the inside as well, that way the top part is not actually just being dragged against the bottom of my floor. So I gotta figure out how to do that. Uh, I'm going to actually go inside and try and figure out the best place to put wheels in here. Okay, this is kind of the worst place for the wheel, but I really don't have another choice. I do want to keep this door here, so going any closer to the exit, well, I just, I cannot do it. And actually, it's like fitting perfectly in here, so basically what I'm doing now is attaching this to the ground, so hopefully the actual beam goes on this. Now, the problem being, I actually got to do one on the other side as well, obviously, but this floor actually retracts upwards, so... I think I gotta do this one a little bit differently. Maybe I gotta do some sort of hydraulic thing over here. Anyways, I'm actually gonna close this thing off just to kind of hide this wheel because it's kind of an eyesore. I mean, not that this thing's pretty by any means. I've got this thing over here as well. Uh, and this is this, uh, this big lift is actually getting too small for all the things that I'm adding to it. Okay, now we have a big hidden wheel right there that is attached to the bottom. That's perfect. And this beam here, by the way, is just to show where the middle of my craft is because I wasn't actually sure. Actually, now that I look at this, the best spot for this, it's actually going to hide the wheel, is to put it on this thing, I think. Now, if I put... Let me actually see. Is this the middle right here? Uh, no. We need to have this one block inwards. So, what I'm thinking of doing is actually putting a couple blocks on here. Let's just try here right now. I don't actually know if this is the right place. And then put that there, and then attach a wheel to this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. And that's going to be... I think that's just as low as the other one, isn't it? Okay, yes it is, because I actually tried to put it up a block, and as you can see, that would just make it scrape on the floor. So, that looks good just like this. And the big question is, when I transform this, oops, I didn't mean to do that, will this wheel actually be able to go down below the deck? Okay, but it might just fit. I don't actually know. Let's just try this out here. Oh, it's so... Oh! Okay, well, I guess that works. I mean, let's see if it actually comes back out. Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a little bit touchy, but the fact is that it works, so I think that's good enough for right now. 
And when we're not using it as an actual monorail, that's great because we can just hide this wheel and only have one eyesore on this creation, which is this one. Okay, but now it's time to attach wheels to the bottom of this, so I believe it's five blocks in between, so one, two, three, four, five. That should be good. Now I just gotta figure out where to stop because this wheel obviously has to come down and that's gonna get in the way, so one, two, three, four, five. That should be good, and let's just make sure this is good before I waste too much time doing this. Add some bearings here so these wheels turn, and then add the wheels to those. And yes, as you can see, these just have enough space in between for them to not grab each other, I don't think. And attach the wheels on top. I'm actually lagging quite a bit now. I'm worried that I'm adding so much to this creation that it's just lagging out my game. But so far, so good. At least I can still play it. There we go. Now, if we look from the front, you can kind of see my idea here. Basically, I want a pole to go down the middle of this and these things to grip that pole. Now, the big question is, is there enough room for this thing to transform down below with this other wheel? Yes, there is, but once again, it's a little tight in there. It's actually attached to the other wheels. That's hilarious. And we had to add another two engines because you can only have eight wheels per engine or I guess eight bearings per engine, so... Uh, yeah, this thing's getting pretty friggin' stupid crazy right now, but that's the way I like it. I think that should be it. Uh, these top wheels are just gonna be roller wheels. These bottom ones are going to be powered. So for whatever reason, my game crashed a little earlier, and now my suspension is broken once again. So I'm fucking giving up with the suspension. You can see it's definitely, uh, heavily weighted to the back now, which makes sense because all my wheels are in the back. We can fix that later on. I just want to see if this thing works first. So we're gonna make a quick little monorail here, if you want to call it that. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna do a beam here, and then a beam straight out. Now, as it currently says, obviously, this is just going to be a straight pull for right now. Uh, later on, if you guys are liking this and want me to go more into detail, I can curve this pull with hydraulics and whatnot, and hopefully we can have a big monorail system all around this map. But honestly, with how the current game is, I feel like I am at the max of what I can build on this world once again, so we might need to go off and do something new in the next episode. Hopefully they fix these optimization issues in the near future because obviously I would like to just build everything in one world. It's just, unfortunately, the constraints of the game don't allow me to do that. Okay, but now it's time for its maiden voyage. Let's see. Oh, God. This thing is just so weighted down. You were such a good creation before. I think I built this too close to that damn wall as well. Actually, this might be okay. Let's just slowly go on this thing. There we go. And... Monorail system engaged! Oh my god, it actually works. Oh, I definitely need to grip it a bit more. We can do that with more hydraulics, but it's actually remarkably stable when you get on this thing. So this should be a pretty simple fix. It's just gonna take me a little while here. Basically, I'm just gonna add two blocks to these and do the exact same thing that we did with the vertical lift and bend them in a little bit. So this little block will be like that. Again, it's just like this one except with two blocks. Add a bearing to that and then I can rotate it inwards to grip the pole. Okay, I believe the max a controller can have... Oh, you can actually have 10 it seems like? Please tell me I have enough room for 10 on this controller. Yes, I do. Perfect. Did something actually work out for me? Oh, I guess you can have limitless on one controller. I did not know that. So we want one through five to go into the blue and then six through ten to go into the red. Now, one of you, I forget who's told me this, but you can actually hold shift and do it by one percent increments instead of the 15. So thank you for that. I'm actually going to try, I think, you know what, even something really small like seven should work for this. And rotate the bearings. We should. I think everything's good. We got this connected to number three on the driver's seat. Everything looks like it's connected. Let's try this sucker out once again. Now, as we currently sit, we're not moving. Now, if I press the number three, that should hopefully grip it a little bit. And it's still not moving. Oh, my God. I want to cry. I got to assume this thing just needs some more grip. I'm praying this is the only issue I have. So, we're going to rotate these... 15 degrees now, which is probably what I should have did to begin with, but I did want to show you guys the new, um, how you can do it with one degree increments, which is really cool, uh, for that fine tuning, but I do need a bit more grip. Okay, so we're back on, let's make sure these things grip it. If I press the button, oh, it still seems a bit actually light, but, yeah, okay, so I th we actually gotta go more than 15 degrees here. I'm just gonna go really aggressive just because it's quick to do and try 30 degrees. That might be too much grip, but let's find out. Okay, so there it goes, it's letting it go. And now it's actually on it. Now, please, why is this not working? This should totally be working in my opinion. I'm going to delete this box because maybe it's actually gripping the wheel and making the thing break. I don't know. Uh, I just kind of wanted to hide this thing, but clearly it doesn't like that either.
Okay, there we go. The wheel is not touching any part of the platform, therefore it shouldn't be breaking. Let's, come on, please. Why are you not working? I don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand how this is not moving right now. This should be just fine. I think, I'm pretty sure I'm an idiot. Because, oh my god, I forgot to turn on the fucking engines. Are you kidding me? I'm in trouble shooting this for fucking 30 minutes, and it's just because the engine... Well, one of them was turned on. Oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, so, yeah, both my engines had no power going to them. So now it's probably going to work really freaking well because I, I refined this so much to uh, try and fix it. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. It's, uh, it's going on its own. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. It works. It actually fucking worked. Man, after that nightmare, I'm so glad it, we actually had a successful run there. Now, unfortunately, my game hates me right now. We're at a grand total of 12 FPS, so I'm going to say we're going to take a break on the whole elevator system that we got going on here. It's successful. I do want to continue it, but we got to wait for the game to become more optimized, if it ever will. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic building the final aspect to this crazy-ass elevator project that I've been doing for, what, three, four episodes now? It's been absolutely crazy. Uh, I do want to build the monorail system in the future, but uh, until the game gets more updated and more optimized, I really can't do that. So, once again, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.